morning guys. Just getting out of the tent this morning and it is a beautiful day outside. Look at this. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I have the solar lamp already charging after it died last night. I just put it right on the log right outside my tent just to get maximum exposure. It died way too quick. I did charge it before I left, but that was a few days ago. So I think I lost some juice. Oh man, it was freezing last night, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It was probably the coldest night I've ever spent in my life. I'm not sure if that makes me tough or that makes me a pussy, but I'm out here and I feel great about it and it's beautiful. And um, yeah, I had uh, cheese and pita bread and some of a Cliff Bar and a um, chocolate chip granola bar um, to eat this morning. I might have oatmeal later. I just want to pack up right now and start hiking so I can get some miles in today. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be out here, I'm not going to lie, it is very cold, but I'm going to tough it out as long as I can. I didn't realize how cold it was and um, kind of how underprepared I was for the cold weather. Um, I should have gotten that zero degree bag. Um, not making excuses, it's just really, really freezing out here. I'm definitely learning more and I'll, I'll be better prepared um, as each hike comes along so I guess this will be test hike number three. It's the middle of the day right now it's about like 1 30 and I feel like a child. I fell twice in around a third of a mile down these down these uh, pretty technical hills. I was thinking about telling you guys how uh, how much harder they are they're like 50 60 percent harder than they are in the summer just because of all the the leaf cover on the um, on the rocks and the dirt and you could barely find a foothold. Yeah, I'm using my poles to find solid footholds, but that doesn't work all the time. So I fell once on a pretty steep downhill. Um, splinched my right leg, my right knee a little bit. And then literally like less than a third of a mile away, I fell again down a uh, pretty shallow, pretty shallow downhill and I splinched my left knee um, and I cut up my left elbow. Uh, I never said I was a pro, but um, I'm definitely still out here hiking and I'm having a great time. It's a beautiful day. I just tried to get water at this lake. I don't know if you can see it behind me, kind of. Um, it's just way too marshy. Um, when I got close to the lake, I, I got really close to the lake, it, um, there, was, there was just too much water and my, uh, my feet got wet. But no worries. I'm pretty sure there's a stream about a mile away. So, all in all, it's a good day so far. Shit is getting real right now. This is how you Ziploc bag cook. So I put the, the powder cheese, the powder cheese and the macaroni in the bag first. I boil the water, put the water in here, close up the seal, and then work the mac and cheese around. And then after that, I put on this cover and wait a few minutes and then eat. Here is my delicious feast of macaroni and cheese. Mm. It's been a long day, guys. I'm gonna go outside, relieve myself, hang my bear bag come back in here, zip myself all the way up in my sleeping bag, and go to sleep, ready for tomorrow's hike. Good night.